Michael Jones here with uh, Variety with John Walter, who has Theater of War here, a documentary about uh, George C. Wolfe's production of um, uh, Mother Courage, starring. Sorry, go ahead. No, no. What? Go that's ahead. not the full title. It's Mother Courage. Mother Courage and her children. And her children, right? Which I always forget. Um, starring Meryl Streep, which happened in the park, correct? Right, Shakespeare in the Park Festival, 2006, uh -huh. 2006. So uh, talk about what drew you to that concept. Well, f for uh, many reasons, too mm -hmm. numerous to go into, I had decided that I wanted to try to make a film about Bertolt Brecht. So the idea I had was to pick a single production of a single play and sort of exhaustively examine that. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, so I was sort of kind of waiting around looking for the right production. There was a, a really interesting production of Three Penny Opera that was done on Broadway like in 2005 that Wallace Shawn had done the translation for. And I had talked to my friend Nina Santisi, who's a documentary producer. Um, she did the movie Unzipped. And I told her about this idea, and we talked about maybe trying to do Three Penny Opera. And then when Mother Courage came along, uh, I thought, well, this is... Perfect, you know, a great. You know, like you got Meryl Streep, you got Tony Kushner was doing a new translation. Um, Oscar Eustace, who runs the public theater, artistic director, <coughs> knows a lot about Brecht and is a you know, brilliant on-screen presence. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so we got a meeting set up with uh, Meryl Streep and sort of pitched her the project, and she liked what we had to say, and so she gave us the green light. Oh, good. What was that meeting like with Meryl Streep? Did she have any reservations about the project? No, I think, um, it seemed like uh, our motives were in sync. You know, I think she felt like the reason I wanted to do the film sort of dovetailed nicely with the reasons she had for taking time off from her movie career to, you know, do... <laughs> This exhausting part, yeah. you know, night after night in the in the park. So um, she she seemed to, I th you know, when I told her also that I was just going to shoot the rehearsals and n none of the actual performance, she sort of liked that idea. She, well, she liked was, that idea. Yeah, she thought it was because that seems like an idea that most actors might shy away from. That's probably true, but Meryl Streep is not most actors. Yeah, true. Uh, so, talk about uh, what you got during those rehearsals. I mean, it was, you kind of did the antithesis of shooting, you know, the play. You just shot the rehearsals. What what comes out in your film with that? Well, it's interesting. Well, part of the problem with shooting a play is that a play is always staged for the stage. And so you inevitably get a kind of, you know, flatness when you try to transfer it to film. Uh, really successful translations of stage to screen have always been restaged and reimagined for the camera. Even a film like, like when Ingmar Bergman did his film of his production of The Magic Flute, you could tell he redid the blocking for, for, the, uh, for the camera. So what I wanted to do was shoot a documentary of this rehearsal process a couple of things are happening. So you're, the audience who's watching the movie is sort of learning the play along with the actors. And there's a f kind of magical transformation that happens because you're watching Meryl Streep at work, learning her lines, trying to figure something out. And then all of a sudden, you realize you've crossed this line yourself as a viewer. And now you're watching Mother Courage. And, and you've entered into the fiction. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, a great thing about rehearsals is they um, they do the same scene over and over again. So I could always change my camera position and I could ch pick and choose my shots. So uh, it has a cinematic quality to it that I wouldn't have gotten if I were, you know, heading um, sort of stationary cameras, right. you know, at the public theater right. or the in Central Park shooting the an actual live performance. Right. Uh, your first film, How to Draw a Bunny, screened at uh, Sundance. Was that we, was that your first film? That was your. That's my first, you know, not work for hire, right? Feature right. documentary. Yeah. Talk about the difference between screening that film at Sundance and screening this new doc at Tribeca. What's the difference between the two film festivals? 
Well, I haven't really experienced the Tribeca Film Festival yet. It's just, it's uh, just starting. Yeah. But, I mean, for me personally, it feels like, um, you know, it's it's. I, f I feel like it's a, a hometown crowd. You know, I, I I've been living in New York since. 1991 and it feels like my hometown now and um, you know the film was shot in New York it, all the participants were in New York it it has a kind of you know like mom and pop kind of feel to it to me it's like I made it with my wife and my close friends you know we got up in the morning and we walked to the public theater to mm -hmm. shoot you know so uh, I mean, it's a it's a personal difference for me. Yeah. Uh, it just it feels like uh, my, my hometown film festival, yeah. you know. Well, uh, thank you for coming by, John Walton. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.